Hi, Yvonne Musso with ATG USA to talk about the group command. Are you using the group command? The group command has been around for a while and it is a quick and easy way of organizing drawing elements that needs to stay together. With a little foresight, creating groups can save you time. After working with the group command, you will learn what is best to keep as a group and why, or not to keep as a group and what should become a block. They are not blocks. They cannot be shared or assigned an insertion point or add parameters. Grouping in large amount can bog down the drawing. In the AutoCAD interface, the group command can be found on the ribbon, the group panel. You have group on group, group edit, group selection on and off, group manager, and group binding box on and off. We want to have the group binding box and group selection on. This will give us a visual of what has been grouped. To have the group selection on by default, make sure you have the pick style systems variable set to one or three. Type pick style and set it to one or three. To understand the pick style variable, go to the express tool under systems variable, search for the pick style for its definition. I will type group or G and I will select the line work that is the north view elevation. In the command line, type N to add a name or right click and select name. I will call it North View. One word, no spaces are allowed. Enter. If you choose not to give it a name, CAD will generate a name starting with an asterisk and in numeric order by default. You will have the opportunity to rename. I have the North View group. I will copy move the group as one unit. I have done the same for the other views quick and easy. When you copy a group, CAD will generate a new name for that group and it is not related or linked to the original group. So keep that in mind. Type on group and select the copy group to remove. This will help control the number of groups in the drawing. Let us create one more group. These dimensions. Type G for group and I will select the dimensions. I will call it dims. Enter. I like to add the callout for the slope of the roof to the dim group. Type group edit. Select the group or type in the name of the group. I will select and select add and select the objects to add. Enter. I will copy move the group and add it to this elevation. Let's look at the group command. In the object grouping dialog box, we'll list the groups in the drawing. Add a check mark to include unnamed so that the list populates as well and add a check mark for selectable. Here we can do cleanup work along with assigning changes. Let's select and ID this group. Select and click on highlight and it will highlight in the drawing. We can decide what changes to apply. Since they are copies, I will remove the group by clicking on explode. Click on OK and this will remove the group, but it will not explode the objects. I will select the self view group and remove the windows. Type in group edit, select the group and select remove. Select the line work for the window, enter. Let's click on the view and you will see that the window is not part of the group. Let's add the window back in. Type in group edit, select the group, select add, and select the window, line work, enter. You can also do this through the object grouping dialog box, either by clicking on the group manager from the ribbon or type classic group. The group command is found on the ribbon for the AutoCAD software, but for the other AutoCAD softwares, for example, the architectural and Sybil 3D, you will need to type in the command easy. Just type out the word group to group objects, ungroup to remove the group, group edit to edit the group, and for the group manager type in classic group. 
the object grouping dialog box will appear, will list all groups in the drawing for easy managing and applying changes. Okay, now it's your turn. Explore and see what works for you. From all of us at ATG USA, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>